Hello, everybody from my fifth grade class. Mr. Funk coming from his kitchen once again to answer all of your fantastic questions. Happy Wednesday, everybody. In the uh, living room right now, Violet is watching Frozen again. I swear she watches that thing two or three times a day. She loves her Elsa. Anyway, to answer some of your questions, Priscilla asks me, what time do you have to wake up? Well, I'm getting to the age where I'm just happy to wake up at all. Uh, seriously though, um, before the whole virus hit, I would wake up usually around 6.30 just to get the boys up and going off to school. Uh, now that I get to work and teach from home, um, I get up around 7.30. Uh, but I don't have an actual time which I have to wake up, but that's the time which I choose just to get myself going and to make sure that all you kids get to work sooner rather than later. Um, oddly enough, when I was at Fox Sports and Fox Sports Southwest, I worked nights. And I would get home around 2 a.m. So I would um, wake up around 9 or 10. Um, but when you start having kids, kids don't care what time you want to wake up at. They will wake you up when they are up. So have to adapt to them pretty quickly. Um, but to answer, answer you, um, usually around 7.30 now. Sergio asked me, due to the virus, how about how many times do you wash your hands a day? Uh, funny thing is, I'm not scared of germs, not a germaphobe by any means. I think that we have an immune system and the immune system needs to work, you know? You know that's what it's there for. Uh, however, I don't like getting the flu. I don't like getting sick. Um... I've had the flu maybe about five times, and it knocked me on my rear end. It was awful. I couldn't physically stand up for more than 30 seconds. And I'm hearing this one is a lot worse. Um, and I don't want that. Not just for me, but I don't want to pass it on to my parents, my kids, anyone. Um, so I'm a lot more aware of washing my hands, keeping them san sanitized. Uh, but I don't have an exact amount of about the amount of times I wash my hands each day. I just don't know. But it is a lot more for sure. Um, you know, when when I go off to the store and I get food and stuff like that, um, I'm wiping down the cards. I'm using what they have in the store for sanitizing purposes. And then when I get home, I make sure that they're washed there as well. And of course, I bathe some sort of daily. Um, I think that's the most, most important thing. Just stay clean, stay safe, sanitized, and everything's going to be fine. Um, I'm not worried, but just because I'm kind of cool and laid back. Well, possibly not cool, but I'm laid back. Um, so I'm not going to worry about things until the time comes for me to worry about it. And right now I'm not worried about this, uh, but I do want to be aware of it. I, I do want to take the proper precautions as well, just because I don't want to get sick and I don't want to make other people sick. Great question though. Kingston asks me, out of all the states you've been to, which is your favorite one? Well, to live in Texas for sure. It is really cheap to, to live here. It's very, you know, you can get a really nice house and it's not expensive. Um, but let's just be honest, summers here in the state are really awful. As you guys know, I am from L.A., Cali. It is beautiful there. It is gorgeous there. It is 350 days a year of sunshine. I love that cool ocean breeze coming through. Miles and miles of beaches, miles and miles of mountains. Um, so weather-wise, you can't top that. Um, but it's just so expensive there, which is why I would never move back which is a total shame because it really is a beautiful state. Uh, other places which I enjoy, Colorado is a beautiful state as well. It's just scenic with all those mountains there, ice capped, uh, really, really is cool. Um, but which is my favorite one, weather-wise, Cali, Texas to live in, and close third, Colorado. I would move there in a second. It's a fantastic set. Roberto asks me, when you were little, did you collect any cards? Uh, yes, I was a typical boy. Uh, baseball cards and football cards and stuff like that. Um, 
I'm hearing now they might be really expensive. I mean, they might be worth a lot. Um, but the problem is I have no idea where they are. Um, my parents keep them because my parents don't throw any of my stuff out, which is a good thing. Um, but I have no idea where they're at. They're probably, probably in a storage box someplace, which possibly one of these days I might find them. But I don't care right now. But yes, I, I did. She loves to dance too. Uh, Julieta asked me, do you miss us students? Of course I do. You guys are fun. Um, I love being in the classroom. I love hearing all you, all you guys talk and all the crazy, funny things you guys say. And I think one of the most important things in which you guys do for me, because I'm getting up there in age, I'm 43, is that you guys keep me young with all your TikTok dances and that type of stuff. So uh, to answer your question, your question, of course I do. You guys are awesome. And I love being your guys' teacher. Seriously, that is true. Uh, Sophia asked me, how many superhero shirts do you have? I have no idea what you're even talking about. Oh yeah. Uh, to give you an exact amount, I have no idea. Um, maybe in the 20 to 30 range. Um, maybe that'll be a future thing in which I do here. Uh, compare my rackets to superhero shirts. I don't know. I actually like villains more because they seem to have a lot more fun. Um, just the way it is. However, if I have to pick one, Batman's my guy. He is the one I like the most. Guys, thank you so much for all of your questions again. Get back to work, do your thing, and um, once again, stay healthy, stay safe, keep all the things in which they're saying that you guys should be doing. Uh, get your work done. Got some IXL stuff which you guys have to do um, by Monday. So make sure you get that done too. Guys, have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.